Okay, so let's go ahead and put together our little gift box. So you wanna go ahead and get all your like colors together. Now this is gonna be the lid, and you'll notice that there are two square pieces. One has a little LL cut into it with score marks. That is your lid liner. This goes inside, and you'll notice that it is a little bit smaller than the other piece. Okay, so put that off to the side for now. Here are the pieces for the actual walls of the lid, and you will notice that they are all identical. Okay, so it doesn't matter what goes where. What we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and fold everything at the score marks. Okay, and then we can put together the wall, and we'll put together the top, and basically repeat the same process for the bottom. Uh, it's exactly the same, it's just a little bit smaller so that the lid will fit on top. And what we want to do is just align these pieces right next to each other and go ahead and put a little bit of glue on this tab here. And I'm going to fold that over and just kind of smear that glue out to the edge. I'm going to put it flat on my table here and get that aligned just before the little score marks. Okay, and before it's fully set, you can go ahead and fold it on top of itself and scooch it around until these tabs are nice and flush. And that, and that will tell you that you've got this thing perfectly lined up. Okay, so I'm just gonna move over here and do the same thing on this piece here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on that tab and work that glue out to the edge. Get that lined up and just fold that tab over. Wipe away any excess glue you may have there. And just kind of fold it on itself again. Just make sure that you've got that nice and aligned there. And that's going together perfectly. Okay, so one more time here to get all four parts of the wall together and then we can go ahead and close it up. Okay, very simple box for the little cards that coordinate with it. Of course, you could use it completely standalone. It doesn't have to hold the little cards with it. You can use it for a little gift. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold this over like this and just fold this piece over like this to close this up. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this tab here, bend that over and Get that glue in place. And there we go. Just make sure it's nice and flush there at the bottom. Okay, so that is good. And we've got our walls here all ready to go. Okay, so you wanna find the piece that does not have the little LL cut into it. This is gonna be the top. And what I like to do is begin with just one side, okay, and I'm gonna work that glue out to the edge, okay. Sometimes when you're dealing with all these layers here, or all these tabs, four sides, it can be a little um, challenging to get everything to get glued down nicely where you've got a nice clean seam on everything, so I try to work with as little surface area as possible just to make sure that I can at least get one side down good. And then I'll try to try to get the rest of them down nicely. See that nice seam there? Okay, so we can lift this lid up now and we're gonna apply glue to the rest of these tabs here. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the first one. I'm gonna smear that glue out to the edge and if you don't get it perfect, don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you a little tip here that will help ensure that this thing looks nice and clean when we're all done with it. And I'm just working that glue out to the edge. Make sure you get those little corners too. That always tends to be a little problem spot for me, but I have been getting better over the years. Okay, I'm just gonna sandwich that down and Try to get as much surface area of that paper to grab the glue.
glue as possible. And if you have some areas that maybe didn't grab the glue as well, I'll show you here what we can do to clean that up. And I'm actually pretty happy with the result there. Okay, so rock and roll. That one looks good. Now we can flip this over and I'm just gonna put glue on the actual tabbed portion here. And I'm gonna take my liner piece and just set it inside and push down and get that in place. Okay, so we have our lid and we're gonna go ahead and put the bottom together. And that's gonna to go together pretty much the same exact way. So we're gonna take the walls of our box, we're gonna fold the tabs on each of the four pieces. And then we're gonna line them up just like we did with the lid, create the wall, put the top on, get the liner in. And before you know it, we'll have our little box done here. So again, these are all the same size. So it doesn't matter what order you do this in. Okay, so just get that nice and aligned. Push the tab over and before it sets, you can fold it on top of itself and adjust it just to make sure that your tabs are nice and flush here. Okay, and that down here is also nice and flush. Push down, get it nice in place. There we go. Okay, grab your next piece and I'm gonna put some glue on this tab here and work that glue out to the edge. Put it down on your surface and just push that down before it sets, flip it back over onto itself and just kind of run your finger along there. Make sure that you've got it nice and lined up. <clears throat> that looks good. So we can move on to this tab here. We'll go ahead and put glue on this tab. And just run that glue out to the edge. Okay, and there we go. Push that down. And flip it over onto itself. And check your check your work. Make sure it's nice and aligned. Okay, and then while it's still flat, we can fold this over here, put a little bit of glue on that tab there, spread it out, and close it up like so. There we go. Okay, all right, so again, we've got two square pieces here and you wanna find the one that does not have the BL on it, and that's bottom liner. So we'll put that off to the side. And again, we're gonna start with just one tab. Get a nice line of glue on there. Get it out to the edge. If you don't get that glue out to the edge, you may, you know, you may be able to, to see, well, you just won't have a clean seam, basically, and it just won't look as good. So just pop that right on there. Align it to the best of your ability. Make sure it's nice and centered. And then use your finger to just run that paper right onto the wall. Okay. And then you can put it down on your surface and push from the inside. Okay. And then we can go ahead and put glue on the remaining tabs. Okay. Don't be afraid to get some glue on there because I'm going to spread it out. Um, you know, and if you use a tape gun, that's fine. Um, you can do that. I know that there's, um, well, just regular tape I've heard works better than those tape guns. Sometimes those tape guns don't hold very well. Okay, let me just clean my finger off here and just square that up and push down and just run your fingers along the edge here. Try to make it nice and clean. And just push down like that and like that.
like that. And a little glue explosion there, a little too much. That's okay. There we go. Okay, so we have our bottom. You can go ahead and put glue along the inside there. Take your liner and pop it in. Just push down along the inside. Okay. And you can take our take our lid, pop it right on. And we've got a nice box. And all that's really left to do is take our little design here. Okay, we've got these two layers and we've got this layer here. I'm gonna start with the bigger pieces here. I'll leave this detailed piece for last. And I'm gonna get a little bit of glue out to the edge. And then work a little bit of glue along the inside, very thin. You don't want it to warp the paper. And then I'm just doing some dots inside here. Okay, pick that up and get that nice and aligned. Just look at the cutouts on the flower and make sure that you don't have too much of that color underneath poking through. Actually, you shouldn't really have any. It should fit pretty seamlessly and perfectly. Okay, so that's what that should look like. And then we're gonna take this more detailed piece and overlay that right on top of that piece. Okay, so again, let me clean off my tip here. Okay, just start with just a nice thin, that was maybe too thick of a line there. Nice thin line of glue along the edge. Try to get some around that little circle there. Okay, and then work some glue into this area here, and then little dots just throughout this design. You can do little tiny little ones here. Just have to kind of get used to the touch and feel of your glue bottle to be able to have that kind of control over the flow of your glue. And just try to get some little dots of glue on these tiny little rib areas. Okay. And all we're doing is just trying to make sure that we are aligned perfectly with that layer there. It's the same width and height on that sheet. So you can kind of just use the perimeter as your guide for the placement on that. Okay. So that is that. And then that is going to get glued right on top there. And I actually used a little bit too much glue around the edge here, and it sort of warped the paper a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so we are actually going to pop dot this, or in my case, I'm going to use foam squares to the top. And don't go all the way out to the edge. Leave a little bit of room here so you don't see the foam squares from the sides. Okay. Just get, start in the corners and then kind of work your way around the design. It doesn't have to be perfectly aligned. And actually I feel like if there's a slight variance, it might actually help keep this thing. I'm gonna peel that one off. I don't like how close it was to the design. And of course we wanna get, I'm gonna stagger some inside the flower area and then of course these areas here i want to make sure that they are nicely supported oops i had two of them there peel that off okay i'm gonna grab i'm gonna push these down one more time just to make sure that they're not going anywhere okay and i'm gonna grab my razor blade to help peel these little backings off. And just from experience, I'm gonna say that these are the Recollections brand. I think it's Recollections. It's the Joanne brand where the, uh, the sticky part doesn't come off as easily as the Michaels brand. But with the help of a little razor blade, you can make quick work of this. Um, even with fingernails, this stuff doesn't really want to come off very easily. So 
Oh, razor blade does the trick. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and center it right on your box. Okay, and just to kind of give this a little extra love, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some rhinestones on here just to kind of finish it off. And I would highly recommend gluing these on using like a, a pick-me-up tool. Just put a little bit of glue onto a scrap piece of paper and grab your pick-me-up tool. Oops. This one does have a sticky back. Some of the rhinestones that we use don't have sticky backs. And they're a little easier to work with because you're not fighting with stickiness. And just place them in the corners nicely. There we go. So you get the idea there. And then you can finish this thing off by tying a little bow. And these definitely, these are like sticky enough to annoy you, but not sticky enough to actually stay in place. So I don't know what they're thinking by putting the sticky backs on there. They always seem to fall off. So definitely want to, definitely want to glue them down just so that when your recipient gets this, it doesn't fall off and they're like, oh, well, that ain't cool. Okay. So we've got our little rhinestones on there. And what you can do is put a little bow on there and um, just kind of tie this off so it doesn't just open up. Okay, so with about, say about 30, 31 to 32 inches of ribbon, this is, uh, I think this is quarter inch ribbon, yep. You can take that and just kind of wrap it around your box. Okay. And we're leaving a little extra because we're gonna create a bow separately. And this will be the tail for the bow. So let's kind of want to make it tight, but not too tight so you can slip it on and off. Okay, so kind of pull on it, but not too much. And then just tie a knot. Okay. And maybe don't pull it completely taut just in case we need to kind of um, fix that up a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna grab about another 27 inches of ribbon and I'm gonna grab a little bit of um, gold string here to help keep my ribbon together. And I'm gonna pop it in my bodabra. Okay. start by laying just a little bit in there just so that there's a little bit of ribbon here. Okay, and I'm gonna start creating my bows. Just like that. I'm gonna go about, oh, looks like about an inch, an inch and three quarters on each side. We'll see how that, how that turns out. That looks like a pretty good size. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see, you might want to make that a little bit smaller, but I think actually, I think that's going to work out nicely. Yeah, so I'm going to curl that in. And let's take a look and see what we got here. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Uh, yep. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie this off. And then we'll just tie that to the other part. I'm still kind of working on my ribbon making here. So if you know a better way of doing this, by all means, go for it. I'm just gonna go with what I'm comfortable with. Okay, I'm gonna cut off the excess string here. Okay, and since we already have tails um, on the actual box, any excess that we have here, I'm gonna go ahead and trim off. 
you don't need it. Okay, this little piece here, get rid of that. Oops. Okay, and you can kind of take this and using this, just tie that in place. Okay, and try to cover up that center part there as nicely as you can. And then bring this down. Might have gone a little, might have done a little too much on the tail, but we can always trim that off. So that's fine. I'm make that a little bit tighter. Okay. That looks good. Let's bring that up. And bring it down, I should say. That looks good. And then we can just kind of trim this at an angle. I'd say about there. And about there. There we go. And just bring that tail down a little bit more. And there you go. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.